grab a cup of coffee, pull up a comfy chair, and look through the January through June 2021 mini catalog with me. Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor from inkitupwithjessica.com, and looking through a new Stampin' Up! catalog is always one of my favorite things to do. This particular catalog is usually my favorite because it's full of spring and summer colors and products that really inspire me to create. So I'm not going to go page by page, but I will show you some of my favorites, some of my not so favorites, point out things you won't want to miss, and even show you a few cards that I've made. First thing in the catalog are some kits. I love card kits because they're easy to take with me so that I can craft on the go. Also, if you're just getting started, they're perfect. This is an all-inclusive card kit on page six called Hello Dear. It has everything you need included, stamps, ink, all the pre-cut paper so that you can go ahead and make cards without needing a lot of supplies. My favorite in this catalog is the You Are Amazing, which it has a project kit, but you need to get some supplies separately. So I think the You Are Amazing stamp set is a must have. I just love it. These are greetings and nice size stamps that I have already used for a variety of cards. The actual project kit comes in a really fun box like this that once you've made your cards, you can store them in here until you're ready to send them. So it has some little twine in it. It also has some directions. And then it has all of the pieces, the little die cut pieces and folded cards you need to make four different cards. You can make the cards exactly as they show you in the directions, or you can change it up and put them together however you want to. This one I made just following the directions. I think I followed the directions on this one too. But on this one, I left off the twine. They tied some over here in the example. I was too lazy to do that, but I like it just like that. And then here is the fourth card. And I think I might've left some twine off of this one as well. It also comes with some envelopes in a couple different colors on the inside that are fun. So once you have the project kit and the stamp set, you can go ahead and put all these cards together. If you just want the project kit, you can do that and stamp your own greetings inside, but they recommend that you have the project kit, the stamp set, and then four different ink pads and some adhesives. Skipping ahead to page 17, kangaroos are my favorite animal. I think they're so fascinating and fun to watch. And so I love the kangaroo and company stamp set. It's adorable. I used to have a stuffed animal that was a kanga with a little roux in her pocket from Winnie the Pooh. So I just think this is adorable. And this is a stamp set. I don't always buy the coordinating die set because sometimes I think that the pieces are just too small and I wouldn't use them. But I think for this one, I would definitely get the die set so that it can cut out the animal shapes and the flower shapes for me because I would not fussy cut those. So I think that is just an adorable stamp set and it's got a lot of little greetings and little stamp images that can be used for lots of different occasions, even without the kangaroos. On pages 18 and 19 are the Hydrangea Hill Suite, and it's really hard to show this catalog all at once because it's long this way, um, but there's some really pretty card samples to give you ideas on cards that you can make. And then here are the products that come in the suite. So I did not get the stamp set and the dies. They're very pretty, but I think that these designer series papers are just absolutely gorgeous and I can use them with other stamps that I have. So I have an entire different video where I show you every single piece of designer series paper that I got from this catalog, which is almost all of them. So I'll be sure to link to that. The pastel pearls here are really pretty and shiny and come in great colors, but they're a little bit too raised for my liking. I'm not sure if you can see on here, but I think they're really raised. If you're going to be sending cards with these, you're really going to want to protect them when they go through the mail. Here is one card that I made with the pearls and then also with the Hydrangea Hill designer series paper. I also threw on a little dragonfly. There's a dragonfly punch in this catalog and covered it with Wink of Stella to give it a little bit of shimmer. This gorgeous grape sheer ribbon is also really pretty and it's easy to add it to cards. You can lay it flat across and tape both ends behind your piece of paper or you can even tie it in a knot or a bow on your card. On page 22, there are two Easter stamp sets that are really cute and this could be used for any occasion and these little animals here are just so adorable and the flowers, I love them. 
If you like to make fancier cards, I really recommend the curvy dies. They're still easy to use, but these curved lines and the details that are cut out with some of the dies, they coordinate with the quite curvy stamp set. They just make some really beautiful cards, as you can see. I do not really like the dandy garden paper that is on page 25, except for there's a few sheets that I do like. This is a six by six set. Um, maybe you'll love these floral papers and they will be your favorite, uh, but not my favorite. And I do not like the ladybug trinkets. I just, you know, no. But what I do want to point out on this page is there is a dragonfly stamp set with a coordinating dragonfly punch. I love a coordinating stamp set and punch. And also these Dandy Garden Memories and More cards and envelopes. These are beautiful. They're so pretty. I think you can just throw a greeting on here and send a card. You're ready to go. On page 28, this Happy Thought stamp set, this is a great greeting set that has words for the outside of your cards, but also for the insides of your cards. And sometimes those are harder to find. So this is perfect if you need some new greetings, but also perfect if you're a brand new card maker and you don't have any or many word sets, this would be a great one. On page 29, I haven't gotten it yet, but I really like this Brushed Bloom stamp set. I would not get the coordinating dies, but I like how these two stamps can be used in the background, and I love this rainbow look on this card. And then there's just some really nice flowers, and I like to send Just Because cards, and there's some really nice um, fonts on here. Also, let's paint the town as long as I'm home by 9 o'clock. I would say like 7.30 for myself, but that's a fun set. On page 30, this Borders to Background stamp set has a lot of possibilities. Of course, you can use them for borders along the edge of your card, or you can use them to create full backgrounds for your cards. So lots of possibilities there. Also, it might surprise you that I ordered the Wild Roses stamp almost right away. This is a background stamp, so it's bigger. It will cover the full front of your card. And the reason that I wanted it is because I liked this tone on tone here. And I thought this would make great cards in a variety of colors. And so I did try it out. I haven't perfected the card that I want to duplicate, but I tried it two different ways. This is with just Versamark ink on Highland Heather cardstock. So it just gives kind of a faint background look. And then this is more of a tone on tone. This is Highland Heather ink on Highland Heather cardstock. And so I, I love the idea of just adding a greeting and I did add some of that sheer ribbon here that I showed you before. Uh, but I can see making cards like this in a variety of colors, super quick and easy to stamp. I love the pretty perennials bundle here. I love the stamp set. This card right here, this card makes me happy. I love the colors. I like how this is stamped over a bright pink in black. I think that looks so great. I just have so many flower stamp sets and I know you might too. If you don't, get this set. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm still talking myself into this. Um, right now, I don't have it, but I can see by the end of this catalog, I probably will because I just love it. It makes me happy. You should always get things that make you happy because then you're more likely to create with them. On pages 32 and 33 are the Fine Art Floral Suite. These make really pretty cards. This one, I just got the stamp set. I didn't get the dies. And what I love about this stamp set is that if you look on the next page, it has the flower images, but it also has these great greetings for all kinds of occasions. And I love the font. And so I've already used this happy birthday a ton of times with different stamp sets even and different papers. So I love the stamp set. This is one that I made just really quick. This is just a note card that I stamped the flower on and then a little I miss you. So you could make a full set of these for different occasions. Wrap them up, they'd make a great gift. Also, I wanted to show you when you're stamping the flower, and maybe I should stay back on this page. When you're stamping the flower, it has two different stamps. So one is the background and then one is a detail that you stamp over top of it. These were stamped, I believe in Calypso Coral, but this one I stamped, like I inked up the stamp and I stamped them right on top of each other. This one, I stamped the background stamp off first on scratch paper and then on here so that it's a little bit lighter in the background and I like how that turned out better. I hope that made sense. I'll probably do a video on that later. Okay, back to 
the fine art floral suite though because there's some fun things in here that I don't want you to miss. First, this gilded leaf embellishment. Now, I did get some of this. It comes in a container like this. I'm going to be honest and tell you that I'm scared to use this because it just looks so messy. Now, someone shared some cards on my weekly Facebook show and tell post the other day, and she used some of this and her cards looked beautiful and she assured me that it was not hard to use. So I am going to get up some courage to try it and I will let you know in a future video. What you can use it with, I know, is the new heat and stick powder. You might have had some of this in the past. I know Stampin' Up! used to carry it. And basically, you add this kind of like you would add embossing powder. And when you heat it just a little bit, it gets sticky. And then you can stick the gilded leaf um, embellishments onto it. And then you kind of rub the extra off, I believe. But you can also use this with the glitter you could use that. You can also use this with other adhesives. I've seen people put down a line of tear and tape and then add this on top. So really there's a lot that you can do with this. I do love this paper a lot. Again, I have a, I'm showing that in a different video. And then this painted texture embossing folder gives just a really cool, I mean, like your wall, like a painted wall texture to it. So not all of these products are from this catalog, but I wanted to show you, I did make a Valentine card and use that on the background. So it just adds a nice texture to your backgrounds. Finally, this fine art ribbon, they call it, is kind of a gold, I would almost say gold linen, but it has like a, what do I want to say? It's like a linen ribbon, but it has threads of gold in it. So it's really pretty. And it's easy to manipulate, it's not too stiff. Okay, here is something that I actually, I really do not like. I want to like it, I want to love it. I ordered it right away, and then after I, real, after I ordered it, I realized that this is all one big stamp. So when you get it, um, you can put the sticker label on the back if you want to, but this is just one giant stamp, see? one giant stamp. So the idea is you would stamp this all at once and then you would take the coordinating die and you would punt it, line it up over, you know, what you stamped and it would punch them all out at once. So I can see where this would maybe be a great time saver in that you could then have like a whole pile of greetings that you could add to a card at any time. I just am not sure if I love it. And I also feel like these are smaller than I thought they would be. So the jury's still out on this. So far, I'm not loving it, but as you can see, I haven't even tried it yet. The one thing that really stood out to me was this happy birthday, because I thought that would be really nice for guy cards, but we'll see. If you've used this and you like it, comment, let me know, tell me all the things about it and what I should try. Another don't miss is on page 37, and it's kind of hidden. It's the Treasured Tags Pick-A-Punch. So it just punches the end of kind of like skinnier pieces that you could use as tags and gives it a fun shape on the end. So you can see they used it on this card and on this card. So it does come in a bundle with this stamp set. I don't really love the stamp set, but I can see it using that punch. The beach is pretty much my favorite place to be ever. And so I love the sand and sea suite. It makes some absolutely gorgeous cards. One thing that you need to know is the stamp set, the stamps in it coordinate with the die in that like this stamp would fit right here and you know, this stamp would fit right here kind of thing. And then also this coordinates with the embossing folder. So you can cut this out and then you can line it up in the embossing folder and emboss it. So cool. So cool. I love the embossing folder. Again, it makes an all over background that you could easily just add a uh, greeting sediment to and then send it off as a card. These opal rounds are pretty. They have, you know, kind of a shininess to them that are pretty. But like those other embellishments I showed you from the Hydrangea Hill, they're really raised, like they're really thick. And so I don't like to mail things like this. You have to make sure it's really protected so that it makes it you know, it makes it to where you're sending it without being ruined, but they are pretty. And then I showed both the pearlescent specialty paper and all of the sand and sea paper designs in the other video that I mentioned where I 
where I share all the pretty papers from this catalog. On the next page, page 42, you can get a closer look at that stamp set. The seashells are just gorgeous, and they kind of have where you can stamp this inside to give it a little color. I don't know if you can see that here. It's like stamped in two shades of blue. And then it also has some really great greetings in here, and I like the variety of fonts. So that's a fun set. When you're looking through the catalog, look for the bundles because it shows you what coordinating items you can get together and you save 10% when you get the bu bundle versus if you buy them separately. On page 44, the Sweet Strawberry stamp set is really cute and it also has a coordinating strawberry builder punch. And I love a stamp set that has a coordinating punch. Here is one card that I've made with it. The strawberry has two stamps for it. So I stamped this one off on my scratch paper first and then stamped it on here. And then I inked this up and stamped it on here so that the inside was just a little bit lighter and it allows you to see the details. But you can use one color and you don't have to have multiple colors of ink pads. On pages 46 and 47, there's two adorable stamp sets. The Shark Frenzy which does have a coordinating die set. And then the O oh Snap with this big crocodile and some fun words that go with it. So these make some really cute cards. I also love the Ice Cream Corner Suite on pages 48 and 49. And I did buy everything in this suite because I just loved it. In the stamp set, I love the happy birthday and the thank you fonts. And you don't have to use those stamps just with the ice cream. I used it with the Hydrangea Hill paper to make this beautiful card that was super simple. Just stamp the greeting and it's the printed paper on the back. But I love the stamp set. It also has a coordinating punch so you can punch out the ice cream scoop or the ice cream cone. It's got the pretty paper that I show in the other video. This confetti. I'm not going to open because I will end up spraying it all over, but it's just little confetti pieces that's great for making shaker cards, and they're in such fun, bright colors. So a shaker card would be like this card here on page 48. So when you move it, you can see that the little confetti shakes behind those circles. The snail mail suite on pages 54 and 55 are Everything in here is also adorable. Um, the stamp set is perfect for stamping directly on your envelopes when you're sending cards in the mail. It says happy mail enclosed. It also comes with a die set if you want it. The papers, as soon as I saw them, I was like, this is going to make the cutest Valentine cards. I mean, come on, how cute is that? Now this is a stamp that is in the annual catalog that has the coordinating heart punches and that's one of my favorites. So you can pair new stuff from the new catalog with stuff that you already have. Another fun thing are these little resin hearts that come in white and red. And these are pretty flat and don't add a lot of bulk. So I will be using those on my cards. I think they would be okay to mail. But there's just a few Valentine cards that I've made with that. Of course, you can use it for other occasions as well. I just saw the little hearts and I thought, Valentine's Day. If you want to sell cards or other things with Stampin' Up! images on them that you're using Stampin' Up! stamps for, then you do need to have copyright Stampin' Up! on the back of the things that you're selling. And so this Handmade For You stamp set on page 56 has two options for that. It also has other things you can stamp to say that, you know, you made it. And... If you do sell cards that you're making with Stampin' Up! Things, you'll want to check out their angel policy just to make sure that you are following their guidelines. On page 65, do not miss the oval punch. So this is a double oval punch that punches out an oval and then also a scalloped oval that this plain oval fits on top of. So you can see they layered it here. And then there is the coordinating stamp set if you like that, but definitely don't miss the punch. If you want to make some cards for men, the Well-Suited Suite has a bunch of things that you might be interested in. If you want to make cards that look like suits or little t-shirts. So it has the stamp set, but then also these suit and tie dies. So they come in a bundle or you can get them separately. And I have actually seen so many creative cards made with these dies. This is not something that I'm interested in. It's a little, you know, futzy for me because it has so many pieces, which I don't love. But I have seen some very, very creative things made with this. I like the paper. 
it's great. It goes great with, I mean, this is some of the paper here. So it goes great with the stamp set and the dies, but you can use it for other things as well. And again, I show all of that in my pretty paper video from this catalog. On page 70, I don't want you to miss the new blending brushes. Now, I did order some of these and have just very briefly tried it. So they come three to a pack and you can wash them off. So this is different from a sponge because it's it's bristles. It's like really soft bristles. I tried it out just briefly and honestly, I mean, they're okay, but I don't know. That's what I'm going to tell you. I don't know. People have been raving about these, but so far I'm not really sold because I don't really feel like I'm getting a better sponged um, blended look than when I use my cheaper stamping sponges. And so where you get three in a pack, when I buy a pack of three sponges for, I don't know, less than, I think they're $4 or less, I can use those with a ton of colors and I can do a lot of things with them. So I think I just have to play with these more. And as I play with them more, I'll let you know. But if you want to try them, try them. Don't miss them. Do you need them? Eh, I'd probably spend my mother money on other things personally, but total personal preference. On page 72, don't miss the stitched with whimsy dies. I almost passed over these. And honestly, I did pass over these like my first 17 times looking through the catalog. And here's why. This is cute, but I would I would not get this stamp set. And so I just kind of passed over that page. But upon close inspection, these stitched with whimsy dies just add a little stitching around the, you know, around the border of your cardstock or around the cardstock wherever you want it. And they come in a variety of different sizes. So this is definitely on my to get list because these can be used with any stamp set that you have. On page 74, I wanted to point out that both the new Stampin' Cut and Emboss machines are now available. There's the mini Stampin' Cut, which is adorable. It looks like this, and then it opens like this. But one thing to know is that regular size embossing folders that are like the full size of a card front don't fit through here. So these are only going to fit the mini folders that look like this or smaller dies. So this is great if you are on the want to take it on the go or if you want to just keep it handy for cutting out your greetings with like shape dies and just want to have this handy. Um, if you're just getting started maybe, but I would really recommend getting the standard size. It's not even going to fit in this picture, but it's just a little bit bigger and it folds up and then it folds down and then you can use any folders or dies in this one. If you do purchase either of these machines through me, I have a free online class for you to take so that you can learn how to use them. On pages 75 through 82, these are all the bundles. So you might wanna just take a look through all of these pages to make sure that you don't miss anything. And because there's different card samples here than there are earlier in the catalog. So just more great ideas to inspire you. And remember that you do save 10% when you purchase the bundles versus purchasing the stamp set and the puncher die set separately. That's a really cute card. So is that one. See, all kinds of great ideas in here. All right, then on pages 83 through 86, they have the catalog at a glance. This is a great way to make sure that you didn't miss anything. Now, it's kind of hard to see with the stamp sets what everything looks like. But this is a great way to see all of the designer series paper, a great way to see maybe the different dies, but also the other kind of different specialty papers. And then right here for sure to see the different punches. There are some lip um, kiss punch is what it's called. I didn't point that out because I'm, I'm not in love with that. I think it's a little bit weird. Um, but then the embossing folders and then the blending brushes and the different ribbons and twines and the different embellishments are all shown here so that you make sure you didn't miss anything earlier in the catalog. Finally, on page 88, there is one stamp set that is exclusive and they call it for hosts. But really, anytime you have an order that's $150 or more, you qualify for what they call Stampin' Rewards. And you would be able to use those Stampin' Rewards to get this exclusive sweet sampler stamp set or you can use the Stampin' Rewards to get anything in the catalog. So you can purchase products from this catalog 
straight from my website at shopandgetupwithjessica.com or you can go to the Stampin' Up! website and select Jessica Taylor as your demonstrator. You can also request a paper copy of this catalog because I think it's always nicer to have your own copy in your hand to flip through. So you can request your own copy of the catalog at inkitupwithjessica.com backslash catalog. Thanks so much for looking through the catalog with me. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments below.